Johnny Depp may not be the only alleged victim of Amber Heard. Which other former partners of the actress have come forward against her? Stay with us to find out. A video of actress Amber Heard facing DV allegations by her ex-partner, Tazia Van Rie, resurfaced during the recent defamation trial with Amber's former husband, Johnny Depp. Hawaiian-born painter and photographer Tazia Van Rie was romantically involved with Amber Heard. The pair were in a domestic partnership from 2008, before same-sex marriage was made legal in the U.S., with Heard considering herself married to 45-year-old Rhee, even using the name Amber Van Rhee. The video, which was viewed over 130,000 times, showed Heard testifying about the matter on August 13, 2016, the same year the actress filed for divorce from Depp. It's unclear whether the testimony occurred during a trial session related to Depp at the time. The footage shows the actress answering questions about allegedly physically photographer Van Rhee while they were together, something both deny. Heard was asked during her 2016 testimony whether she was previously arrested for committing domestic violence against Van Rhee. The question stems from Heard arguing at an airport with her then-girlfriend in 2009, then being arrested after she allegedly hit Van Rhee in the arm, USA Today reported in 2016. However, Van Rhee issued a statement claiming that the incident was misinterpreted and that Heard was wrongfully accused. I recall hints of misogynistic attitudes towards us, which later appeared to be homophobic when they found out we were domestic partners and not just friends," Van Rhee said in the statement, according to the news outlet. It's disheartening that Amber's integrity and story are being questioned yet again. Amber is a brilliant, honest, and beautiful woman, and I have the utmost respect for her. We shared five wonderful years together and remain close to this day," Van Rhee's statement continued. Heard was arrested by Port of Seattle Police on September 14, 2009. After the incident, authorities at the Seattle-Tacoma International Airport in Washington confirmed to USA Today in 2016. However, the police were asked in November 2011 to delete the arrest information. The request cited an allowance in Washington state law to eliminate non-conviction records upon request. Non-conviction records are any records relating to an incident that didn't lead to a conviction or other disposition adverse to the subject. Subsequently, the information was even removed from the system, but it hasn't stopped raising questions. How come Amber is always in the center of DV conflicts? According to sources close to the A-list actress, A.H., seeing Johnny Depp win this defamation trial against Amber has given Van Rhee courage to speak up and admit to the DV claims. Meanwhile, Amber Heard has both denied being aggressive towards her partners, but also admitted to have done it as self-defense or as a response to their provocations. Heard denied the allegation of domestic and claimed it was planted in the press by Depp's team as part of a smear campaign against her. I've never assaulted any partner. I've never assaulted Mr. Depp or any other person I was romantically linked to, ever, she told the court. According to the BBC, Heard acknowledged that she struck Depp on several occasions, which she said were reactive and occurred after years of not defending myself. Amber Heard hasn't only been accused of being aggressive towards her ex-lovers, though, but also towards her employees. Heard's former personal assistant has accused the actor of stealing her own experience of being a victim of DV and twisting it into a different story. In evidence given remotely from Los Angeles during the Heard vs. Depp trial, Kate James said she had regularly received a barrage of and incoherent text messages from Heard between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. Is Amber Heard as guilty as she looks? Or has the social media been influenced by the strong anti-Amber campaign presented by Team Johnny Depp? Let's see what fans on Twitter think. This user is clearly Team Johnny. Amber Heard's own parents don't stand with her. Her friends don't. Her ex-lovers have come out and said they were abused by her. On the other side, Johnny Depp's exes have defended him, the security and the medics defended him. Their entourage know. Here's yet another fan who doesn't believe Amber and thinks she's the aggressor. Amber Heard is a hideous person. She lies. She is a b She is delusional. She has a b Depp, her own sister, her own mother, her partners. She does not stand for all women. Here's one more Twitter user who didn't believe Amber's claims. Poor Amber Heard? She admitted to abusing JD and tried to paint herself as the victim. There was so much evidence pointing towards her guilt. And she has a history of violence against her other partners. Has no gender. She brought it all on herself and is paying the price. But the internet is always divided. So here's an Amber Heard fan who comes to her rescue on Twitter. I believe Amber Heard. I believe in a victim who wasn't perfect. I believe in a victim who fought back. Fighting back made her no less of a victim. Hashtag I stand with Amber Heard. Do you think Amber's the perpetrator or the victim? Share your opinions in the comments below. And don't miss our next video with more of the latest and shocking celebrity news.